Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and a detailed review on this Milwaukee M12 Toolkit Combo Kit. This sells for $138. You can get it off of Amazon. I'm going to put a link in the show description on this exact kit. So this would make a, it's a little expensive, but it would make a good Father's Day gift, a good birthday gift, or a good Christmas gift for the dad or the grandpa in your life, or anybody that's a handyman. So I've been a DeWalt fan for most of my life. Um, I've just recently started switching over to Milwaukee. Um, I've used a couple of these tools at work and they just seem a little bit better. I think Milwaukee is, is the tool to have nowadays and not DeWalt. I really like these M12 batteries. I'm also gonna do a video on this M12 tool only, 3 8 ratchet. That'll be my next video. But today's video is just gonna be on these. Little seal here you gotta cut. Okay, so we open the side flap and there's like a big tool pouch in here. That's all that's in there. Looks like a really nice tool pouch. Alright. Looks like we got a big some sort of manual or something. Catalog. There's the manual. Very well packaged. There's the nut driver. Here's the drill. Also comes with a charger. So here's what the char it's an M12 charger. I don't think it's a fast charger or anything. And it comes with two batteries. That's what I really wanted. So I wanted this kit with two batteries. Okay, so I've got the batteries unpacked. These are genuine Milwaukee batteries. There's no indicator on them to tell you how full they are. You got to put them on the tool, I think. Yeah, there's a little indicator on the tool. So the M12s slide in like this. They only go one way. They won't go that way. And you do it till it snaps. And then when you press the trigger, See, we just barely press the trigger, it shows you how much. So the batteries come half charged. Again, just push it in there so it snaps. The light comes on automatically. I, it goes off after a while. And just push the trigger. Yeah, both of them are half charged. There's four bars. So let's look at the bag. The bag is, I like the bag. Very nice. Um, nothing super fancy, but it does seem pretty doable. Let's look at, again, this is the charger. The plug on it is a two-prong plug. And then to take the batteries out, you just got to pinch these right here, and they come out. And then they'll only slide in the charger. There's like two, uh, two little wings, I call them. And you can see there's a cut out there. Make sure you press down all the way. And steady means it's charging. Green means it's done. And then you've got... I think if it's flashing, your battery's too hot. And if it's flashing alternating green, red, it means you, your battery's broke. So these are 1.5 amp hour. So I've just... So the, I really want to go to this M12 battery. That's pretty much what this stands for. See how that has an M12 on it? So the battery is super lightweight, but I, I think these batteries last a pretty good time. Um, but you can have several of these batteries ready to go. But what it is, it makes the tool so much, so much lighter weight. Oh, this is the perfect weight for this tool. It seems like the, with the DeWalt's and the other uh, brands, they can get so much bigger with the batteries. You know, this is going to be great for a roundhouse. It's got a little thing. That's where you put your driver in. It's got forward and reverse. Very quiet. Let's go over to here. Let's check the, the drill. It's got a clip. This one doesn't have that. Oh, yeah, it does have that clip. 
they both got a belt or um, put it in your pocket, you know, kind of like your trousers or your belt. So it's ready to go. So it's got two speeds. There's fast. It's got a brake, it has an electric brake, uh, electric brake. Stop. Forward and reverse. And it's got a clutch. So you can put it in the drill position when you got to do a drill and when you want don't want it to slip. But when you need it to slip, see. And then the more you go up, the harder it harder it goes in before it slips. And then all the way up to drill, you can't hold it. It just turns. Very nice. I really, really like this. This is absolutely perfect. This seem, this is kind of heavy through here. This is kind of lightweight, but it's balanced. If anything, it might be balanced just a little heavy up here. But And this is just what I'm going to consider kind of like my starter kit. Again, I'm going to do another video on the 3 8 ratchet. I never thought I would like an electric or a cordless ratchet, but I do. Okay, there's a manual for the charger and a manual for pretty basic, pretty basic. Okay, so let's go outside. Let's play around with the drill and let's play around. I'm going to I'm going to put the battery on charge. Okay, so I'm in the process. I'm going to be converting to the M12. Again, that's this size of battery. Here's all the tools that go with the M12. Now on the reverse side of this, they've got the, this is kind of like, this is the M18. This is kind of like your standard slide on batteries you see with, with DeWalt. So this is kind of for your bigger contracting stuff, your bigger tools, definitely a lot more selection with the M18. But I find that I don't, I don't need that big, heavy industrial contractor grade. Um, I just need something light, portable, and it's powerful when I need it to be. I'm not going to be using it all day. I just might be building a project or something. And that's why I'm going to, I'm in the process of switching to the M12. So with this battery, these are all the different things I can do. There's those drill combo I got, and I've got the ratchet, the 3 8 ratchet, but you know, you can even get a heated uh, jacket, all different types of chargers. And what I do like, so the M12, this is kind of like their standard battery. They've got some extra capacity batteries, um, which give you a little bit more juice. So that's, I like, that's a nice option. You got lights, saws, all kinds of drills and lights. So I'm pretty excited about finally switching to the M12. It's been around for a little while and I'm just trying, I'm just finally going to do it. I'm slowly getting away from my DeWalt stuff. DeWalt's been okay, but um, I'm pretty excited about the, the Milwaukee stuff. Okay, so I'm out in my shed. Um, I've got here's my DeWalt. I got my DeWalt drill. This is the new one. I just bought Here's the nut driver the impact wrench Here's my DeWalt. You know what? I was shocked. I I think the Milwaukee might just be a little bit heavier than this DeWalt <laughs> That's I, I, I never would have thought that But the drills feel about this the drills definitely bulkier than this drill but there's there's a lot of weight right in this area on these tools where with the like this DeWalt there doesn't seem to be it seems evenly distributed throughout it okay so I've got some of these big long like deck screws and I'm gonna first put them in with the Milwaukee the battery is fully charged and then I'm gonna compare it to the uh, DeWalt Still fully charged. Let's take them out. Not that one. Yeah, they come out 
super easy. And so the way, it's got a nice thing, you gotta pull this up in order to take this out. So here we have the DeWalt, that thing's a little bigger on the DeWalt. Must not have been a two by four there. Okay, so I can definitely tell there's a there is more power with the DeWalt. It's faster. Has more of a ratcheting action. Alright. Okay, so now I got a treated two by four. So this has got a keyless chuck. Just hold the chuck and the jaws open up. We're gonna put the base drill bit I got. So this seems pretty slick. I was hoping that might be a little more, but it's fine. But I was hoping that might be a little more grippy. It's more of a metal and that could be kind of slick. So I'm gonna put it on drill and then we're gonna drill into this two by four. I gotta go down. I'm gonna go to a lower speed. So I had that on the full speed and it didn't do the best job. But let's try a lower speed. Now it does want to grab. You gotta be careful. That just grabbed my wrist. Okay, so the keyless chuck works pretty good. Okay, so now I've got it in the DeWalt. Again, this is a little more grippy. So I've got it on. That's slow. That's fat. Let's try fast first. Wow. Well, I'm pretty impressed with the DeWalt. Okay, so I'm going to finish up here. I, I was actually blown away by how good the DeWalt's actually do work. Um, I thought this was going to be a, a miracle, but it actually, the DeWalt does work a little better. Um, so if I had to pick between these two, I'd probably pick the, the DeWalt. This one is very ergonomic, very lightweight. Over to the drill. Um, yeah, the DeWalt drill was definitely a lot better. This one's okay, again, it is smaller. So this one is quite a bit smaller than the DeWalt. But yeah, so if you're putting a deck together or something, you're probably gonna wanna use this. But for around the house and stuff, I'm gonna be using this drill driver. I, I actually thought it was gonna be a little bit smaller. But, uh, so not, not sure what to say. I, I thought it was just gonna be so much better. I've been really ripping on DeWalt and loving on milwaukee and it seems like the, the dewalt's actually not a bad drill so anyway uh thanks everybody for watching again check out my next video where i'm going to do the ratchet so I, I really got this for the ratchet um because i just wanted a cordless ratchet and dewalt doesn't make a uh, 3 8 right well maybe they do i don't know but i haven't found it they don't make a 3 8 ratchet so check out my next video this is the main reason i got it was for this ratchet and it, it takes those M12 batteries. So I thought, well, since I'm going to get the ratchet, I need two batteries. This kit came with two batteries. So I thought, well, I'll just try out the, I'll just start switch, swapping over to the new drill. And this, um, I'm not so sure about this. I might send these back. I don't know. But I'm definitely going to love the ratchet because I've used the ratchet at work. And uh, so that's the main reason I got it. So check out my next video on the ratchet. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.